Hi, I'm Dr. Frank A. Thomas, and I am so excited to sit before you and present another version of Living Your Passion. This week, I am going to talk about being vulnerable before God, how important vulnerability is before God. I came upon this spiritual vitamin by studying uh, a text that puzzled me in the Bible. You will remember the text, of course, where Jesus heals a person and the disciples say um, that you've healed on the wrong day. I mean, what? He just healed somebody. And they say, so what I've come to know is that sometimes we are wrong. I don't mean wrong in the typical ways that we experience where we, um, we might uh, tell a half truth, uh, we might um, leave some good thing neglected. I mean, those are the, I'm talking about wrong at the level of belief. You can be wrong about what you believe about God. This is the way that I ask the question. I ask people, do you think that God is still revealing or is God through revealing? So in other words, many of us in churches, we have traditions. And we live these traditions and we live these traditions and we live these traditions. And it's hard for new revelation to surface because we're living these traditions. The Pharisees were living a tradition that healings couldn't happen on, you know, the Sabbath. Didn't Jesus know that healings were on Thursday from 6 to 10? How dare him heal somebody on the Sabbath? That's a tradition. So we're living these traditions. God wants to do a new thing. God says, I'm going to heal a person on the Sabbath. They can't receive the new revelation because they're stuck in tradition. They can't tell God that they're wrong about what they believe. In other words, I believe that we have traditions in the contemporary time that we do in these churches and God is doing something new and we block out the new thing because of the traditions. And so in order to receive the new revelation, we'd have to tell God that we were wrong at the level of what we believe. You know how difficult that is? To tell God I was wrong about our, what I believed. God, I believed this for these number of years and now a new revelation has come. And so now I have to change what I believe. You know how hard that is? You know, but that's how I, I believe that we grow. That's how I think the church stays fresh. That's how I think that we can appeal to young people. Like how, how can we appeal to young people? How can we appeal? Well, in some senses, some of these traditions, not all of them, not that we're gonna throw tradition out as the baby with the bathwater, but some of these traditions do need to be looked at. And to do that, you have to be vulnerable before God. This is some of the, to tell God that I was wrong, to tell God I was blind. You know, this thing called amazing grace. I was lost. You know, it starts with this son of mine was lost and now I'm found. He was blind, but now I see. To tell God I was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. So I've had this happen in my life. I, I, I had to face up to some stuff that I was believing was wrong. God was doing some new things and I had to open my eyes and tell God I was wrong. I had to tell God I was afraid of new revelation. I had to tell God that God was doing some things in the young people in the church. It was breaking the mold they were doing. It was fresh, it was dynamic, it was different. I had to tell God, God, you're moving in this stuff. Kids are responding, giving their lives to Christ. M maybe, maybe I was blind, but now I see. M maybe I was lost, but but now I'm found. To be vulnerable before God is how we grow. To be vulnerable before God is how we grow. Can you tell God you were wrong about something at the level of, I know you can tell God you were wrong if you looked at a woman or a man in the wrong way. We do that all the time. But to tell God I was wrong in what I believed, that God, you're doing a new thing and it's forcing me to change what I believe, that's the challenge of growth. That's the challenge of making the church relevant. 
in every generation, particularly as we get older, for those who, uh, us who have been blessed by the traditions, who enjoy the traditions, and I'm not saying throw all traditions out, I'm saying examine them. Keep what is good, hold on to what is true, discard what is fear. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you paying attention to these spiritual vitamins. Each and every Monday, we have a live Periscope call, 8 a.m. Eastern time, U.S. time. Please join us and we'd love to have you. We also make a deposit onto SoundCloud once a week. I'm asking you to subscribe so that you can get these fresh as soon as they go. You will be a prize. Also, every Monday, we release a video teaching on preaching. Every Friday, we release another version of Live Your Passion. Thank you so much for listening to this spiritual vitamin. I hope that you will be able to admit to be vulnerable before God, that some of the traditions that we're living out are indeed nothing but hindrances out of fear from the new thing that God is doing. Are you open to new revelation from God? Are you open to the new things God is doing? Bless you now, and I'll see you next week.